So in today's video, we're going to make a beat using loads of different instruments, physical ones. I won't be using any instrument VST plugins, but if it's okay with you, I will be using a couple of effects plugins instead. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to sample is this kalimba here. I got it a few years ago. Got it from Amazon. It was quite cheap, I think. I'll put the link in the description below if you do want to get one as well. It's pretty cool. It says the keys on here, but I'm pretty sure they're out of tune. I don't have like special sampling equipment, just my Blue Yeti microphone. So what I'm going to do now is put it into a simpler. A simpler is basically a type of sampler in Ableton. If you don't use Ableton, I'm pretty sure most doors have samplers. Also, I'm going to get a tuner as well, just to make sure I know what key it's in. Because as I said, I'm pretty sure my kalimba is out of tune. So I set a note in the piano roll to middle C. The tuner will tell us if it's in key or not. If it's not in key, simply just change the transpose and the detune until it's in key. So I've messed around with the warp, some of the LFO settings as well as the transpose detune. So for a melody pattern, I'm going to be using one of the midis from the liftoff, which is out January the 3rd. If you do want the teaser pack, you get 10 free loops. That is in the description right this second. So this is the lo-fi section of the pack. I'm going to be using a melody called Hurdles. <laughs> I tell you what, that doesn't sound bad at all. And I didn't mean to have that extra like noise in there, but it makes it sound really lo-fi. And because I changed the LFO settings, it's doing like a crazy movement as well, which makes it sound cool. First of all, I'm going to stick a Cymatics Origin Vintage plugin on there. I'm going to be sticking a RC20 on top of that. A bit of EQing as well, the low end, and I've added another EQ as well, just to get out some of those harsh kind of sounds. It was sounding a little muddy, so I threw a fresh air in there just to try and make it sound a bit brighter. Very, very nice, very low fice, very vocal, very low, very, very low fi like. So next up, I'm going to sample this um, xylophone. So lately, I've been just buying like random like instruments off Amazon. They're mainly supposed to be for like kids to learn stuff, but they let off some really nice sounds and they are quite cheap as well. So yeah, I'm just going to be hitting one, sampling just one note and then throwing it into our simpler. So I've just copied and pasted the same settings from our first simpler to this one here. So put the note on C as usual, which means the tuner should say C as well unless it's out of tune. There you go, A. So it's out of tune. Just quickly change the transpose and the detune. Then I'm going to use the lead MIDI from the liftoff sample pack. Not too bad, but it will sound a lot better as soon as we get these effects on there. First up, we have Cymatics Origin. Space Light by Cymatics. Very nice reverb there. Makes it sound more ambient and smooth as well. These Cymatic ones are free effects plugins as well. I'll put them in the description below. So what we have so far. So next up we have this flute here. I have no idea how to really play the flute. Obviously just... No idea. So I'm just going to, I'm not even sure how the keys work or anything, to be fair. I'm just going to blow in a random sound and then assign it to a key in Ableton. So same theory as before, same settings in simpler tuner. I've tuned it to the right key as it was just a myth before. I've thrown in another melody from the pack.
Yeah, it doesn't really even sound like a flute anymore, but it sounds, I can get the sound quite good in this mix, I reckon. Throwing on Origin, Space Light, a little bit of EQing because there was really some high, harsh frequencies in there. I apologize in advance, but this is the part where I cheat. Um, I'm not creative enough to make a decent sounding bass line for this out of just regular instruments. I know it's possible, but um, instead I have just cheated. Yeah, I said it. I cheated, okay? And used a bass from Analog Labs called the Jazz Bass. So in my last video, I said to you guys, if you comment lift off in the comment section below, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Well, this is that next video and here are the people that commented. If you do want to shout out in my next video, all you have to do right now is like this video and in the comment section below, just comment what your favorite instrument is and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Now let's get back into it. So the flute was actually a part of this bag that I brought from Amazon full of kids instruments, um, but it comes with some really cool percussions as you can hear. So the first one I sampled in was this one here. As it is Christmas. Didn't throw it into a simple hour, just threw it straight into Ableton, chopped it up so it was on time, and now it sounds like this. Threw on Origin and Space Light. Tambourine. I made these hi-hats from the tambourine as well. All I did was just cut some of the tambourine up in simpler. Shaker. Threw a somatic space on there as well. Block. Threw a bit of reverb on it. So this is the instruments that I put into there. Not too shabby. Found a random kick and snare. I didn't make my own again. If I, I just didn't. Typical lo-fi. Some noise. Can't be lo-fi without some random movie quote in there. I used lo-fi space core ambience preset on that. Waves is randomly making it available and unavailable um at the moment so if you manage to get it it is worth getting let me tell you this the older you do get more rules are gonna try to get you to follow <laughs> you just gotta keep living man So whilst we listen to the final piece, in the comment section below, just let me know, if is it worth putting your own physical instruments into your tracks and sampling them? Or should you just use any old plugin like Contact, for example, that gives you loads of the same instruments? Is it any better just to put your own physical instruments in there? Or is it the same as just getting a plugin that has those instruments already put in? Let me know what you think in the comment section below whilst we're listening to this.
So yeah, that was a lot of fun to be fair, getting your hands on physical instruments, even if they're just kids ones from Amazon. Let me know what you thought of the final beat. If you do want melodies like what I used in today's video, go ahead and get on the waiting list for Liftoff. If you do jump on the waiting list right now, you will get a teaser sample pack for absolutely free straight away sent to your email. And also it'll keep you updated on the final pack, which is out on January the 3rd. If you do want some free BST plugin videos, I'll leave one here and here. And if you do want another beat making video, I'll leave one right here. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like before you leave and consider subscribing. I've been Dixon. Be safe, be productive, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.